Since cutting my dreadlocks recently, I have gotten much less of dreadlocks. And this is the dreadlocks I had to cut recently because I lost a bet. Plus, I got a few more Congos that ended up locking themselves up. Oh! Somebody! Oh! oh my god, I felt that one. I hit my eye too. My eye cry. I'm crying right now. Oh! <laughs> And Congos are basically when your dreadlocks, multiple dreadlocks combine together and that happened literally through natural process. I don't wash my hair often, I don't split my hair section often, so I'm thinking that's what happened, that's where it came from to where it got connected and I didn't notice it and it kept on growing and it became a Congo. So I'm going to be counting the Congos as one dreadlocks instead of two if I find them because the roots is combined. But before I count my dreadlocks, this is two years ago when I first counted my dreadlocks when I just started my dreadlocks. Look how young I look man. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back, y'all. Yeah. Welcome back, you guys. Welcome back, you guys. Welcome back, you guys. This is another video for my. Welcome back, you guys. This is another video for my. Welcome back, you guys. This is another video. Dread count. I've been having this ponytail for like the past two days. So my hair is everywhere. You know what I'm saying so. Don't judge, yo. I should look your rocker like this. It's so different, unique. I right, bet. Let's do this. All right. Now it's September 21st, my 32nd month of having dreadlocks. So welcome back to another video of Activerse Universe Pad Day is a new day. We got a what? We got a that out I just bought this machine so I, I feel cool you know what I mean so I just brought it out hey, 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 hey. let's go <laughs> my hair dreadlock process my hair lock my my dreadlock journey is one of a kind because I've had my hair in so many different colors so many different shape and forms and different things so I'm gonna go over what I've had done with my dreadlocks since I started them when I started my dreadlocks, the first day I actually bleached my tips, and here is the result of that. It looks amazing, you know. I really liked it. It was it was just something that made my dreadlocks actually look like a dreadlocks. I feel like without those bleached on my tips, I would have would have probably looked like I had you know some kind of a style or like a coil method, finger coil method or something like that. But the fact that I dyed my dreadlock tips made me feel like I had dreadlocks, and it was a shaking stage. I can shake it. I can. Shake it, I can shake it, it felt good. It was kind of hard to put it in a ponytail, I would say, uh, but at the same time, I was there for the journey. And later on the road, I decided to actually go with XXXTentacion, half and half bleach that I first seen on his dreadlocks. Before him, I didn't see it, nobody, and some people trying to claim and say, I've done that before. I used to do my dreadlocks like this, half and half, but I, I never took a picture or something. I don't have the memory of it. So there lying they're a cap they're trying to take the glory from the man that introduced us to half and half you know what i'm saying i don't care what you say about his music but his dreadlocks was really really dope personally i'm not his music fan probably like what what you're not his music fan how not bruh like you do all his hair you you obsessed with him but really i'm not i really like his dreadlocks and i admire his dreadlocks but music wise i like listening to worship music and christian music and things that glorify god and not people and i know his music might not be that way i don't know i haven't listened i think i've listened to one that blew him out or something where he was screaming i don't even want to say the uh, words because all the words just seem bad man so i don't really want to say that okay just i'm gonna just say he may be a good artist and I believe he is you know what I'm saying he just had used it for different things and uh, I think at the end he was doing really nice and really well into bringing people communities together uh, before he suddenly passed away which RIP XXXX because there's no fun and jokes about somebody dying 
It's not fun, it's not games. But his hair did inspire me to get half and half. And as I saw the comments on that half and half, you guys really wanted me to do the silver and also the blue. I know he had the blue at the end, but I jumped ahead and got the blue before that. Because I knew that though it was hard to actually get to platinum silver that he got at to, I couldn't imagine it. I was just like, whoa. I don't know how he did that. And he shaved his eyebrow or something like that. But I didn't want to do all that. I waited to get my silver, but don't forget, I did get a silver, I'm gonna get to it in a second. So after getting half and half, I ended up getting married, so I had to dye my whole head black because I wanted to have black for my wedding. I wanted to look like it was standing up because I was wearing a white suit, so I wanted to just look good, you know what I'm saying? I wanna feel good. So the day of my wedding, I literally, the day of, the day of, I dyed my dreadlocks all black. And I applied some jewelries, and that's when I really started liking ju dreadlock jewelries in general. After a few months passed by, I wanted to change my hair color. I was so excited to do so. My hair was getting longer, and I'm like, let's go, man. I could finally do a new color, because now I'm not obligated to any wedding of my own. You know, because it's like a wedding, it's like one of a lifetime thing. So I was just like, I don't know if I want to do a half and half and look back and show my kids like, what the heck was I doing? You know, even though it was a cool style, I just didn't dig it for a wedding. So I wanted to go with the normal style, which is regular hair color. But at the same time, I had to dye it because my hair was bleached. So for my second hair dye, I wanted to bleach my hair first because you have to bleach your hair, get your hair dyed pretty good. So I bleached my hair and I went to the stage to where my hair was super bleached, super bleached. Cause I had to do it twice and I did it a, uh, within two weeks period of time because I didn't want to do it in the same day. I was trying to preserve my hair from damaging. I was trying to protect it, protect my beautiful locks and I ended up doing that you know I ended up getting a uh, really nice bleach and it didn't really damage my hair then I turned the bleached hair to blue and that's what the blue came in right there you guys see it I know you guys really loved it because this was I feel like my favorite still and at the same time I still really like the half and half and I still love the next color that I did so a few months uh, passed by it started to fade off it started to look like it's green and I still have some of the blue in my hair still because you can kind of see the greenish part of my hair and blue of course mixed with the yellow you get that green color and that's literally what we are seeing right now on my hair going on this bleach plus this you get the green so after I dyed it blue and it's faded out I went to a next stage the next color and that's when we hit like 20k and I'm really happy because you got guy you guys really did it you guys really got me the 20k so I was like I'm gonna give them a new color what do you guys want and you guys ask for silver platinum silver so platinum silver was a really hard color to do and so I didn't actually get to the platinum silver with uh, the amount of bleach that I applied but actually I took a shortcut because this is the only way that I thought I was safe for my hair I didn't want to kill my hair so I bleached it up to two times and after that it didn't come out to platinum silver so I just said and I knew it wasn't so I just said I'm gonna get this hair dye little wax thing and I did get that and uh, and this is what it is and I applied it to my hair and it did a really really well job at mimicking the silver that I was looking for and the silver that I'm looking for is right here you can see it in that color I really did enjoy this it smells good unless it's like in your face all the time and you just get tired of it it's kind of like one of those perfumes or colognes you, f you feel it you like it till you buy it and it's in your face and it's just you just smelling it and you're like oh I hate this cologne but everybody else thinks it smells really good so I got this platinum and this is what the pictures look like look really fabulous it came out amazing and right before the platinum I had my dreadlocks cut and that was because I betted myself with a basketball player that played eight hours a day he said uh, and I the last time I played basketball was like two years ago and I thought I could beat him because I was being cocky and I lost <laughs> A bed and I told him that if he lost I would shave his hair and if, if I lose he could cut my dreadlocks and I had to keep my words and you know what I mean I had to in the sad and I feel regretting I regret about it and the crazy part is I can't find the dreadlock that I cut for some reason it's hiding from me but I was trying to reconnect it again so on the stage that we are at right now we're going to a new color it's gonna be coming soon because you guys gave me 30k when you guys give me 30k I keep my word by saying what color you guys want and from the vote that I've seen, purple is top and red is top and then green comes and then orange comes. This question I asked was guess what color I'm getting next. So this decision is going to be all on me and not on you guys. But I see you guys' preference also. So 
I'm not gonna dodge you guys. So we might go with purple. Ooh, you might have to wait, subscribe. But right now I'm gonna count my dreads and see how many I have. You guys saw a Congo earlier that I pulled out. This is a Congo. And uh, actually I had to split this Congo. And this is the video right here. I know it's gonna hurt your soul, but please bear to watch this. But I'm sorry, my dreadlocks are still okay. Don't worry. So that a dread can have its weight on it still. Somebody! Oh. oh my god, I felt that one. I hit my eye too. Oh, I should have. Oh, see my eye cry? I'm crying right now. Oh! <laughs> yeah, this my, this my audio right here almost fell on me. Caught it though. On camera. But y'all see that? I just hit my eye. I was able to get it at a perfect timing. Oh my god. If it kept on going, I would have just split the whole thing. But yep. Dread split, accomplished. That's where I want it at. I'm gonna just twist these so that they don't fall off. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and count my dreadlocks and see how many we have. And I'm not gonna count the, uh, this one, and then I'm gonna count the Congo as one also. Two. Dang, I have 49 drill logs. If I'm not mistaken, the first count 20, 2019 that I counted two years ago, like I said on the video you guys saw, I think it's 54. I'm going off of memory, I haven't looked it up yet. I believe it's 54. So two of them got cut, so 54 minus two, uh, that's 52, 52, and then to get 49, I had to get two, yeah, two Congos going on, and thus giving you maybe three Congos or two Congos. Yeah, two Congos combining together gives you that number 49. Maybe I missed one or something like that, but I, I believe I remember seeing two different Congos that grew out of my hair. How many dreadlocks do you guys have? Comment down below. If you guys have skinny dreadlocks, I'm just gonna take you longer. And also, if you guys have a full-on dreads, you go, you're probably gonna have the most dreadlocks. But also, if you have a wick or Congo or wick, like I made a video of how to wick your hair, type of hair dreadlocks, you probably have like six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which is pretty cool and unique. So shout out to you guys, everybody. I want y'all to comment below how many dreadlocks you got. Thank you guys for watching this video. Till next time, keep back universe and creating your universe make sure you check out the new pineapple world channel and also the facebook page that we made for that so you guys can communicate and also share your journey so if nobody ever heard your journey saw your journey before that's a great opportunity for you to share your journey it's a facebook private group where you share to a community of people on the same journey that are doing the same thing as you so go link up go share show some love for other people that are sharing on their journey because that is a place to build a community thank you guys for watching the video till next time i'm out